Hello, I'm Chef Michael Schwartz, and thanks for visiting bluestarfoods.com. Today we're going to make a great garlic and chili crab dip. We're going to use the Blue Star uh, lump crab meat for this dish. It's a great, versatile dip, uh, and so I think we should just get right to it. So we're going to take a little bit of olive oil and butter in this pan, and to that we're going to add some chopped garlic. I'm going to get that garlic going just a second. Just want to start flavoring the oil, and then we're going to add the onions. So once the onions become translucent, they're cooking about seven minutes, more or less, we're going to turn off the heat. We're going to let them cool in the pan, and we're going to make the rest of the dip. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the, the Blue Star lump crab meat for this. And I love it because the lumps are going to add some, some texture and some contrast also. So, so we have some sour cream. We're going to add that to the crab. A little bit of buttermilk. Some sambal which is a great uh, chili paste. Uh, you could use a hot sauce for this. This one has quite a kick to it, which we like Old Bay. Old Bay and crab is like, you know, two peas in a pod. To this mix, we're gonna go ahead and add the onions. Now they've cooled down quite a bit. Still a little bit warm, which is fine. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and dump all of that onion uh, onto the crab. And then we're gonna mix it up. So, what I love about this, this recipe is that it's super versatile. I also like to use this dip as a topping, maybe for a fish sandwich. We could stuff lobsters or shrimp with this dip and then bake it. Um, so really versatile. Now what we're going to do, this is the trick, is we're going to take half of this dip and we're going to puree it in the food processor. This process is going to add another great textural component to it. So we're going to take about half of the crab meat and we're gonna put it in the food processor. I think it really just gives it a great creaminess. But we don't want to process it all because we want to have some of those great lumps. All right. Let's come back over here. We're just gonna kind of fold that together. Now at this point, to add another bit of color, contrast, so I have some chopped scallions. We want to do this at the end, and then for brightness, uh, some zest from a lime. And about a half a lime is going to do it. And it really gives it a nice citrusy brightness, so we're going to fold that all together at this point. Um, and then we're going to give it a final taste. Just check it for salt. We'll do that right now. Perfect, got a nice kick to it. Really great, we nailed it. So, at this point, it's time to eat. I'm gonna take a little crock that I have here and we're gonna fill it up. The versatility of this dip is just outstanding. Now, whereas I would just eat it probably out of the container, standing up in the kitchen um, with no lights on, the best thing besides serving it with maybe chips or crudite, smear it on a burger, uh, you know, serve it with fish, uh, spread it on a lobster tail and broil it. It's just, uh, it's really fantastic. So we're going to put it right here with some of the, some of the thick cut potato chips. So here you have the garlic chili crab dip. It's made with the Blue Star lump crab meat. I'm Chef Michael Schwartz. You can find this recipe and others like it by logging on to bluestarfoods.com.